An overview of blockchain technology and how it works. A blockchain is a shared distributed database or ledger between computer network nodes. A blockchain serves as an electronic database for storing data in digital form. The most well-known use of blockchain technology is for preserving a secure and decentralized record of transactions in cryptocurrency systems like Bitcoin. The innovation of a blockchain is that it fosters confidence without the necessity for a reliable third party by ensuring the fidelity and security of a record of data. The way the data is organized in a blockchain differs significantly from how it is typically organized. In a blockchain, data is gathered in groups called blocks that each include sets of data. Blocks have specific storage capabilities, and when filled, they are sealed and connected to the block that came before them to create the data chain known as the blockchain. Every additional piece of information that comes after that newly added block is combined into a brand new block, which is then added to the chain once it is full. A blockchain, as its name suggests, arranges its data into pieces, blocks, that are strung together, whereas a database typically organizes its data into tables. When used in a decentralized way, this data structure creates an irreversible chronology of data by design. When a block is completed, it is irrevocably sealed and added to the timeline. When a block is added to the chain, it receives a precise timestamp. The function of a blockchain. Blockchain aims to make it possible to share and record digital information without editing it. A blockchain serves as the basis for immutable ledgers, or records of transactions that cannot be changed, removed, or destroyed. Blockchains are also referred to as distributed ledger technologies because of this, DLT. The blockchain idea was first put forth as a research project in 1991. Long before Bitcoin became a widely used application in 2009. Since then, the introduction of numerous cryptocurrencies, decentralized finance, DeFi, applications, non-fungible tokens, NFTs, and smart contracts has led to explosive growth in the use of blockchains. Decentralization of the blockchain Consider a business with a server farm of 10, 000 machines that it uses to keep a database with all of its clients' account information. All of these computers are located in a warehouse that belongs to this corporation, and it has complete authority over each of them as well as the data they hold, but this creates a single point of failure. What would happen if the electricity at that place failed? What if the computer's internet connection is lost? What if it completely burns down? What happens if a malicious person deletes everything with a single key press? The information is either missing or damaged. What a blockchain does is enable the distribution of the data stored in that database across multiple network nodes located in different places. This not only adds redundancy but also preserves the accuracy of the data stored there. For example, if someone tries to change a record at one database instance, the other nodes won't be changed, preventing a bad actor from doing so. All other nodes would cross, reference one another and be able to quickly identify the individual who tampered with Bitcoin's transaction history. This approach aids in creating a clear and precise sequence of events. This prevents any one node in the network from changing the data it contains. As a result, the data and history, such as those of cryptocurrency transactions, are irreversible. A blockchain may store a variety of data, including legal contracts, state identifications, or a company's goods inventory. Such a record may be a list of transactions, such as with a cryptocurrency. Transparency Due to the decentralized structure of the Bitcoin blockchain, all transactions may be transparently observed by utilizing blockchain explorers, which enable anybody to examine transactions as they happen in real time, or by owning a personal node. As new blocks are added and confirmed, each node's copy of the chain is updated. This implies that you might follow Bitcoin wherever it went if you so desired. As an illustration, exchanges have previously been hacked, and anyone who had Bitcoin stored there lost everything. The stolen Bitcoins are identifiable, despite the hacker's complete anonymity. It would be known if any of the Bitcoins taken in some of these hacks were transferred or used elsewhere. Naturally. The data kept on the Bitcoin blockchain, as well as the majority of others, is encrypted. This implies that only the record's owner will be able to decode the file and expose their identity, using a public, private key pair. As a result, 
blockchain users can maintain their anonymity while maintaining transparency. Is blockchain safe? Decentralized security and trust are made possible by blockchain technology in several ways. To start, new blocks are always chronologically and linearly stored. In other words, they are constantly added to the blockchain's end. It is very difficult to go back and change the contents of a block, once it has been added to the blockchain unless a majority of the network has agreed to do so. This is because each block has its hash, as well as the hash of the block that came before it and the aforementioned date. A mathematical function that converts digital information into a string of numbers and letters produces hash codes. The hash code also changes if that data is altered in any way. Imagine a hacker who also manages a node on a blockchain network and wants to change a blockchain and take everyone else's cryptocurrency. If they change their copy, it wouldn't match the copies made by everyone else. When everyone compares their copies to one another, they will notice that this one copy stands out, and the hacker's version of the chain will be rejected as fraudulent. For such a hack to be successful, the hacker would need to simultaneously control and change at least 51% of the blockchain copies, making their new copy the majority copy in, thus, the agreed, upon chain. The requirement to rewrite every block because their timestamps and hash codes had changed would make such an attack extremely expensive and resource, intensive. The expense to pull off such a feat would probably be impossible due to the size of many cryptocurrency networks and how quickly they are developing. Not only would this be very expensive, but it would probably be useless. As network participants would observe such significant changes to the blockchain, doing such a thing would not go unnoticed. The network's users would then abruptly switch to an unaffected version of the chain. As a result, the token version that was attacked would lose value, rendering the attack ultimately useless because the malicious party would then be in control of a worthless asset. The same thing would happen if the malicious party targeted Bitcoin's most recent fork. As a result, participating in the network is much more economically advantageous than assaulting it. Blockchains. How are they used? As we now understand, blocks on the blockchain of Bitcoin store information about monetary transactions. More than 10, 000 additional cryptocurrency systems are currently active on the blockchain. However, it transpires that using a blockchain to store information about other kinds of transactions is also a secure method. Walmart, Pfizer, AIG, Siemens, Unilever, and numerous more businesses are just a few that have already adopted blockchain technology. For instance, IBM developed the Food Trust blockchain to track food goods routes to their destinations. Why do this? The food sector has had numerous e. Coli, Salmonella, and Listeria outbreaks as well as the unintentional contamination of goods with dangerous substances. Finding the origin of these outbreaks or the illness that results from what people consume has in the past taken weeks. Brands may follow a food product's journey using blockchain, from its origin, through each stage along the way to its delivery. Food contamination can be traced back through all of the stops until it reaches its original location. Additionally, because these businesses can now see everything else they may have come into contact with, problems can be identified far earlier, potentially saving lives. Although there are other more ways to implement blockchain, this is only one example. How was the video? Did you enjoy it? Post your feedback in our comment section below, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates.